game tomorrow, Stuttgart against uh, Dortmund. It's really hard to say who is the favorite in this game. I don't think it's hard to say who is the favorite. Borussia Dortmund is the clear favorite in that game, not only because they have the the, the, the better players, the, the more experienced players. Dortmund is a team that knows how to play these games. In the last years, they've always been in the finals or in the semifinals, at least in DFB Pokal. They have always been very close to winning the Bundesliga as well, apart from the last season. And of course, they have always been far in the KO stage in the Champions League, so they know how to play a game like this and they, I think they have the better mental strength for exactly a game like this. But VfB Stuttgart is in very good shape at the moment and it's always about the now and not about the past and so they have nothing to lose and that can be the decisive difference in this game why of course Stuttgart has a huge and realistic chance to win this game as well. Yeah, uh, and they play at home, so uh, they have uh, had a poor start, the end of the, the start of the season. But now they play very well. Something has changed. What? The coach. <laughs> it is. Sometimes it's really, really simple in football, or at least you can think it is. I mean, what has Jurgen Kamni said today? He said, "It's always enjoy if you have success." You enjoy it more if you have more success and you have even more success there will be new success coming because it's all about the mental strength it's all about um, it's all about the the confidence of yourself and he has these successes in the last couple of weeks and he has really played good games he has won the games and his team is generating confidence and his focus is all about the defense he, he knows that he has very good players in the in the attack uh, and in the offense like Didavi like Kostic he doesn't need to explain these guys how to score goals but he can create a team which defenses together in one group and that's exactly what he has made and so he is someone very down to earth and he's very authentic and that is from my point of view the exactly reason why the team is following him like this. We are interested in Przemek Tyton. We are not sure who will play tomorrow, uh, but uh, it wasn't easy for him this uh, first weeks in, in, in Stuttgart. But now, uh, what, uh, what can you say? Is he, he a strong number one? Yes, he is, at least in Bundesliga. I have seen a couple of games from Stuttgart, 90 minutes. And he's really a very, very good goalkeeper. He has the calmness, but he has the, 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 the strength, and he has the skills. But I think it is very important. You, you always need to be doubled in the positions. You need to have two good goalies. You need to have two good defenders, two good strikers. And, on. and that's the reason why I think will Jürgen Kramny let Mitch Langerich play in the game against Bo Dortmund because it's his former team, his teammates, so it's a big like a like a meet of all good friends, and he needs to give him games in which he can gain more new confidence as well. And so I think that's the reason why Mitch Langerick will play and not Premier Titon. But for me, Titon is the number one.